1962, um, my dad took my um, sister and uh, mum and I across the Simpson Desert in a G60, and that was the first motorised crossing in the Simpson Desert. Such a, a robust and reliable vehicle. These modern ones are just brilliant, but they're still, they've got the robustness and the reliability of the early vehicles. A lot more comfortable. <laughs> Akarula is 144,000 acre or 230 square mile property. It's uh, got an amazing diversity of geology and that gives rise to amazing diversity of plants in the arid lands. Yeah, it's pretty big to get around Akarula on the ground. You're looking at a couple of days at least. Getting around by air, you can put it all together in a matter of an hour or so. Getting around on the ground in a car like this is just ideal. Yeah, we generate our own electricity. We've been doing that for over 50 years. Hopefully we're going to a bit of solar and uh, other things very shortly. But if the generators go down, it's normally me that gets to fix it. Having a few different irons in the fire stops you being bored. Mechanic by trade, but the last thing I want to do is be a mechanic all the time. Yeah, International Dark Sky Sanctuary accreditation and uh, we're pretty close to it I think now. So keeping the skies dark so everything in the sky looks vibrant and fantastic. I, I don't want to be anywhere else long term. I, I love going other places and seeing the amazing diversity that Australia has and the thing that can get you there is one of these. You know, they're just fantastic. I love sharing Akarula with guests because you know, there's lots that you don't notice when you're just looking at it again and again, but when you see it through other people's eyes, that's fantastic.